Hi everyone, welcome to How to Trick a Fish, where today I'm going to be fishing with a Tenego fishing rod. As you can see, it's super tiny, it extends out, I'll switch over to the GoPro, we'll get it set up, and we're going to see if we can catch some gobies and blennies from the rock pools down in Brixham today. Right, so the first thing we're going to do, as you can see, I've got the rod extended. It's a sort of nice little sort of magic wand sort of feeling thing, something like out of Harry Potter. Yeah, I can't remember exactly how long it is, I think it's about 90 centimetres. I think it does say 90 on the back actually, yeah. So it's got like a little um, fabric piece at the end here. So I'm going to tie a little knot to that and I'm going to attach a little sort of like Tenego line. I'm not going to use um, a proper size Tenego, I'm going to use something a little bit bigger. Give myself a, more of a chance of handling the fish. So this is a uh, one of the ones, the owner performance ones from Johnny Lurfer. I'll put a link in the uh, description. So I'm going to tie this onto the um, setup and then we'll get going and see if we can catch a few fish on it. So it doesn't come with a loop pre-tied, so I'm going to have to tie a little loop. God, my eyes are getting bad. Right, so we've got a little loop on our Tenego line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a little loop as well in the fabric piece on this Tenego rod. Or like a little knot. So that when I put this loop over, it actually doesn't slide past the knot. It's a nice gentle knot there, look. Probably have to do this on the desk at home to show you. Right, so that's all tied onto the loop there. And now I'm going to attach a little bit of weight, I'm going to use a little split shot. A little bit windy today, but we don't need too much weight on it. So I'm going to start very, very small and then add more if I need to. So there, I've got a little split shot there on the hook. Now I'm going to get the tiniest little bit of lure. So I'm going to use some sort of uh, scented soft plastics here from the likes of Isomay and Gulp. Tiny, tiny bits. I'm just going to bite a little bit off. I've gone for the brown camo. Because it's very fiddly to do and try and film at the same time, so I might have to cut this footage right up. So I'm hooking myself rather than the lure, which isn't great. There we go, got the lure on the hook. So we go, so we've got a bit of the dark camo where I'm, and a split shot. There's my rig, and there. Just going to go straight in for it and see if we can find ourselves some little mini species. I've got a little viewing tank, so if we do catch any, I can uh, get it in and get some good footage and some photos, maybe. So, all I'm doing is just gently moving my lure around little rocks in the rock pool just to see if anything comes out. There are some tiny, tiny blennies and gobies in these pools. And the idea is, is just to put a lure in front of their nose and then see if they come out and attack it. Well, wow. there are a lot of fish in this pool because they all just went crazy. Let's see if I can get something out. A little bit of action. There we go. See one just then. There we go, first fish on. Got a little shanny there. I'm gonna get a viewing tank set up. The fish is going nuts, so let's try and get me there with a the lid on for just a second while well, I get the unhooking tool ready. So there he is, Mr. Shani. To be fair, the hook's just in the lip. I might be able to get that one quite easy. Let's get the hook out quickly. So that's my first ever fish using the Tenega rod. There we go, I've got very wet legs. So there's Mr. Shani. We'll get him released straight away, shall we? Off he swims. Right, let's get the tank ready because I've got a feeling we're going to catch a few out of this one. Right, so let's go again. See if we can find a slightly smaller one. Deep hole down there. I see one. It's another shiny. He actually struck for that and missed it. He's going to go again, I think. Oh. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, smaller one. There we go. Super small, super aggressive. 
super cool. Again, splashing me everywhere, I'm getting soaked. <laughs> I'm very lucky with the hooking so far, we're both hooked just inside the lip. He's actually unhooked himself. All right, so we're re-rigged up. I've actually gone for the lighter gold camo this time. I've gone for a little thicker piece, but it's shorter. Um, I've tied on a size 20 hook, so it's ever so slightly bigger than the last one I had on. But again, this pool seems to be full of fish. We've seen lots of movement, so I'm gonna go straight back in, see if we can uh, get one out. Got another one. This one unhooked. Normally it's looked like it's slightly deeper hooked than the last ones. Should be fine. We barbless hook, normally give it out no problem. There we go. Leave them in the leave them in the tank for a moment. See a big head sticking out there, what's that? We've got another one. Again, nicely hooked in the lip. Barber's hook. Oh, it comes nice and easy. Oh, I've missed the tank. Uh, going to jump back in the pool. Oh, he's gone back in. <laughs> Catch and release, so that's easiest. So that's a goby. I'm pretty sure it's a little black, but it might be a little rock. Get the hook out of it quickly and we'll have a better look. He is super tiny. There we go. Super, super tiny, super cool. No, oh, it's a rock, yes. Yeah, so There's a tiny little rock goby. Very cool. Let's get him back. Ooh, that was attack. <laughs> There's a bigger rock goby. Awesome. So we have big and small shannies and rock gobies. Pretty much the two most common fish in these rock pools. He's actually quite deeply hooked, so I'm gonna have to have a little bit of an exercise to unhook him now. Put the tank down for a minute. Too bad. Yeah, hooks there, but I use the pincers, makes it a little bit easier. There we go. So that's it, I'm done, it's starting to get dark. Um, I've had a few little fish, as you can see from the video. Hopefully the footage isn't too bad, I've had a few in the tank. Um, it's all been blennies, um, obviously shannies, common blenny, and also the rock goby. Um, I had a couple of those as well, some little ones, that's a slightly bigger one. So, uh, not a little bad little session. Nice to finally use the Tanega rod, which I've been hoping to use. Hopefully it inspires some of you to go out and try something similar. Uh, give me a shout in the comments. Anything else you want me to try and film? Cheers all.